Hello, 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 and uh, welcome to a special episode of the Chocolate Bros. I believe this is episode 17, is that correct? I believe that is correct. Yeah, I'm Sam Riley. And I'm Zach Burrell. Yeah, and uh, so basically what we're going to get started here is we're just going to we're gonna build a deck. Uh, we've been wanting to do this for a while. We actually <clears throat> recorded this for Kansas, I believe, right? Um, yeah, we, it was, we were making some kind of like water, earth, and something else, and then it ended up becoming, we started with like 150 cards and... Yeah, uh, so I think it ended up being, it was a Fusoya deck. And it was actually uh, it, it was wasn't water, at first. It was, it was yeah, a it was, monsters deck. Yeah, and then it became a Fusoya deck. <laughs> and then we cut the and in, in Kansas. We cut the Fusoya and played monsters. Um, yes, worked out really well for us. Um, yes, it did. So anyway, uh, we've we've we see a lot of uh, chat that are people asking for mono fire. Um, yes, and we thought that'd be interesting because neither of us have ever built mono fire. So yeah, we've never really played it. Um, also, we've had after we talked about uh, the banning cards and that whole podcast, we got a couple replies asking, "Well, you say you can beat Minwoo. Well, how would you beat Minwoo? That kind of thing." And um, I know we've talked about it here and there. We've glanced past it. We've mentioned Mono Fire, but we don't really see it enough to you know kind of see how it would actually perform. So yeah, we want to kind of take our best shot at building it here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have Sam's end uh, recording his FF decks page. I'm going to yep. make the same changes on my side so that we're looking at the same list and we're just going to keep up with each other and talk about card choices yep. and see what we end up with. Yep. So if you don't know, uh, we'll just, we're, we're going to treat you guys like, uh, you know, your, your FF decks newbies. The, the website <laughs> we use is ffdex.com. Um, there's also Mognet and I believe there's a third <laughs> one. I forget the one right now though. I, I'm not even aware of his. I am positive there's a third one, but um, and I think there's a couple of apps you can use too. But I, I like FF Decks quite a bit. Um, yeah. They also host their articles here. Um, it's mm -hmm. just super super easy to use. Uh, for those of you that use your uh, the iPad or the phone, the, the one issue I do have is you can't make your deck private because when you go to scroll up, it like auto scrolls back down, so you have to like keep your deck public. Yeah, oh, really? Because I, I have not had that problem on mobile. That's have you been on iPad? Oh, yeah, I'm on iPhone. Are you on Apple? I use <laughs> iPhone. Oh, okay, interesting. So maybe it's just my iPad. I And maybe it's an update and did you or something. Like that. I haven't tried it. But anyway, yeah, so... They, they did change where the buttons were. Yeah, so here's the interface. Um, You have your tournament up here. You can look at tournaments, uh, your content, where you can go see some cool articles, maybe even watch this video. Uh, decks. Uh, this is going to be really important for this video, at least if you're making... If you're doing things like I do. Um, How you search for your cards, your deck header... Submit tournament results. I think Zach's how to use that. I've never had to use that before. And here's my username. This is where you'll sign in, etc. This is a really important button. <clears throat> I use this quite often. Uh, almost all of my decks I keep on private. For this example, we're going to keep it on public, but if you want to make it private, here you go. Uh, your archetypes, we're going to be modifier. I almost always have my archetypes as other cadets or archfiends. Um, <clears throat> I don't know why that is. Uh, and then a deck name. Um... How do you spell this town that Sephiroth burns down? Oh, uh, Nib Midgar? No, no, it doesn't burn down oh. Midgar. Ah, uh, I don't remember. That's I remember. <laughs> um, Sephiroth burns down. There we go. No, I, it was there. All right. Do, do, do. Oh, let's do have it up. Let's just watch it. <laughs> No, oh, never mind. I don't want to watch an ad. Uh, we were going to watch it, but <laughs> an ad popped up. <laughs> All right. So we're going to name our mono fire deck this appropriately. Um, I, I, I might be um, <clears throat> giving away some spoilers because I, although we haven't thought about this quite a bit, I do think that I'm going to want Sephiroth in this deck because I'm going to want to oh, handle, yeah. handle Minwoo. Um, yep. and I, think I already have good. a lot of ideas, but it's just a matter of how it you know okay. shapes. So anyway, here's where we're going to search for cards. Here's it advance we're gonna do like we're, we're, we're gonna be using a lot of this stuff real quick so if you haven't used it so if you were building a deck how would you start zach i think i would start differently than you would but i want to hear how you'd start uh well i kind of have the idea right now at least for this um i definitely think i'm going to be going dark not light so i have it filtered to elements fire and dark okay so he and can then... come here elements um f no, f fire and dark <laughs> And then I just have all the cards there. So I already have kind of a shell in mind. Okay, so you um, can I... back up summons, monsters, for everything open? Only for monocolor decks. Um, if I was doing a different deck or I was doing something that I didn't have any idea where I wanted to be, I would. Uh, we've talked about it before, I'd start with uh, backups and okay. then see what kind of, see how good my color fixing is. <clears throat> okay. and then... Yeah, that's fair. 
as the backups come in, if there's a synergistic forward, like if I put Star Sibyl in, I'll add a Cam real quick, and then I'll add a Chaos, and I'll add a Zodiac, and then I have that, then I continue with my backups, that kind of thing. Yep. So uh, I'm just going to just start as Zach would hit. He'd hit search, and here is a list of cards um, that are all fire. This is all of them. <laughs> yep. Um, there's a lot. Um, and we'll go through it like he does. I'm going to real quick show you guys how I would do it um, when I'm interested in a deck. I usually, I start to, like, if, let's say something catches my eye, uh, in this case, like, modifier, oh, I want to build modifier, it seems really cool. Here's what I would do. I would first go to FF decks. I would go to decks. And put Ender arch Archetype. I would oh, you are going to go based on someone else's. Okay, modifier. I wasn't sure if we are going to be doing that. So, well, not not necessarily. But what I do is I'd go to modifier, okay? Hit search. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> So we're gonna get just a bunch of modifier decks. Hit like views. low key advertising for uh, FF decks. Right? <laughs> yeah. So here are the here are the the most modifier decks with the most views. Okay. So I like a Japanese list. So I see one from twelve twenty six. I see one called Skiram that has nine hundred eighty three views. One called Big Red. So I'll open maybe every other one or so, and then I'm gonna look through here um, and just compare. Just kind of look over. Like obviously we know Red Mage is gonna be important. Uh, <clears throat> Selfie, we know that's gonna be important. If we want our forwards to have haste, Sage looks good. Um, like th this list would probably, if it was updated, would probably have um, Yvonne over Zidane. For example, it has VVs. It doesn't have the new Phoenix because this was an older list. So I'm just kind of mm -hmm. looking like, okay, Emperor Zande, this seems like important. Right, so I just, right. I'm just i going to glance over the list. I'm going to go to the next list. I'm seeing overlapping cards. This one has Dark. Um, we, have, we have the VVs. We have Emperor Zandes. <laughs> we have the Red Mages. This one has Evokers. I don't think the other one did. Um, yeah, and something selfies. and something like mono fire uh, or mono decks in general. A lot of times, there's mono color matters type cards, like yeah. where if you're playing that's lightning, what, that's I what I'm looking for right ideas. now. Yeah, I, I would snap off three ideas, that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, I think for here, uh, a good starting place would be three Zonde, right? We'll start at least start with that. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna check one more list. So this list also has three Zonde. Also, is, it has a different BB, so maybe BB is not necessarily like insane. I think they all had Bryn Hiddle. They all had three red mages. They all had some number of selfies. So I think we're yeah, starting to get an understanding. Sure. So I think what I'm going to do is I would come in here um, to my FF decks, and there we go. I have red mage. I'm going to want three mm -hmm. red mage. So I'm adding three red mage. Yep. <clears throat> um, we, we, Emperor Zande, right, is the next one? Yep. We want three of those. Sure. Uh, I would like three legend VV at least to start. Okay. Yeah. Um, the card's great. <laughs> Uh, then the would best, you like to. I, I would go to Phoenix next, right? Because like, like Phoenix is the next best card with. Yes. Uh, do we want any copies of Porum? Or Pal, I'm sorry. I'm not sure yet. I think that's going to... Okay. Just, we're going to figure, figure out what. Um, okay. I'm looking towards adding... Because I have Phoenix, I'm already like sort of interested <clears throat> in any other great Tardix. Any All right. Are Tardix. we going... Now, are, I'd prefer if we stayed strictly fire, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't want to... We're not going to splash for like your anchors or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, not splashing because uh, you know but, beat the whole purpose. <laughs> though, like, though, honestly, like this list, I already could see running the four drop phoenix, your angers, and goblins to make everything have haste all the time. And we might oh, get there. Course. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Um, but we're looking at the list, right? Uh, what, what else is good in fire with VVs? Uh, and, with VVs, and phoenix. Um, hmm, I would like maybe one copy of the starter VV, or is that too too much? Maybe too I don't much. Know. I, oh, I, I, don't, I don't want to fill it in yet, but what about... Oh, here, here, this doesn't have synergize with it, but what about uh, Seven? He's, like, obviously, like, like, the best fire card, maybe? or like Seven? Not, yeah. yeah. Maybe I, not the I best, but he's, like, he's in the top five. Um, then are we... We're pretty locked in on Dark, right? Um, so here's the thing. It depends, <laughs> right? A, a lot right. of people have started with Monofire. Oh, Monofire can't be good because of the Minwoo. Monofire can't be good because of Minwoo. Let me just dispel that right now. First off... If you look at our deck right now, we've included what I think already, just just by talking, the five best fire cards. I'm not I'm not sold on that, but I'm pretty sure that they're they're definitely the top ten, right? They are definitely in the top ten. There's no doubt. Is that correct, Zach? Uh, yeah, I think we're pretty close to that. Would, would, <laughs> uh, would these be your top? Would these be your top five? Uh, Sabin's the only one. That, yeah, probably. No, I don't think I can even argue with that. Okay. So the reason I the reason I'm bringing that up is because none of these cards are really weak to Minwoo. So right. I'm already showing you that the fire doesn't necessarily have this giant weakness to Minwoo that that so often people just seem to assume that it does. Um, right. That being said, if we are going to assume that we have weakness to Minwoo, yes, we're gonna we're gonna want to consider Sephiroth the eighth drop to clear up the backups. Um, well, I, 
I was even going to go say, uh, yeah, with the cam, uh, then you want chaos just so it can find a backup. We might, we don't need the other colors, but he at least tutors a backup if we need mm -hmm. it. He also can find our Sephiroth if we need to against Minu decks. Um, he is not horrible uh, to be thrown with Shadow, who I think should also be in this deck at some okay. point. Yeah, Shadow's um, and we can also seven. add we can also add Zodiac one or two of them because we can throw them with Shadow and we can also uh, just play them. Okay. So, um, so I like the dark package, but then there's also we could be playing Vaughn with Sage to give and yeah, to give goblins and, and have the haste package. <clears throat> oh man, I don't know how we didn't. This is definitely the top five. We're gonna watch some number of Belias no matter what, right? Yes. So I would. Here's what I would do, guys. Um, I would just add three Belias, and what we're gonna do is as we get yeah. to 50 cards, we can just take out some cards. It's yeah, we can trim. Deal. Yeah, if we always start with threes and then I trim down as we go. Yeah. <clears throat> so I think there's gonna be an important part of this. Is, this is what what happens is people are gonna say, well. I want Sephiroth, or I want Zidane, right? Because right. I have Phoenix, I want to be able to get it back. I'm going to say I think you should hold off on that. Let's build the core of the deck first, mm -hmm. and then come back and, and figure out what the deck is weak to, and then how do we shore up those matchups. Sure. Right? right. Mm -hmm. So I like this um, list so far. I'm feeling pretty strong about it. Um, about one or two copies of Big Bahamut? I think one. I think like if or when things just need to burn. <laughs> when, when there are things, we'll start with one. When there are things and... that matter with Minwoo, we're gonna rely on the the, the Bahamut. Uh, Labru backup, the original one, so that all of our guys are bigger. Yeah. So if this was a fire lightning deck, I would definitely consider the other ones. So they have synergy with yep. with the Opus right. Four Lightning Legend. Um. So I wouldn't have added that right away, but because we're in mono fire, I think it's a pretty safe that we're gonna want all of our fire. Which yeah, huge. The other it makes one that Sabin a nine k makes Zonda a ten k. It's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and add two selfies right now. Um, two because the selfie is also like in the top red cards, I believe. Yeah. <clears throat> um. Also, how do you feel about the Nutella? I love the Nutella. I do, but I'm, I'm gonna pause real quick, real quick. Um, uh, before I do that, so if you notice, I have three of most of the cards. I only have two selfie and one Muhammad. That, so a lot of times you're just going to add three and trim later. But the reason I'm starting with one Bahamut and two Selfie is because I've played enough games with Fire in the deck, at least, not necessarily Mono right. Fire. Or my wife plays a lot of Mono Fire also, or she used to, um, where I know that you don't want necessarily three copies of Selfie and you don't want too many Bahamuts. Cause, um, and, and again, as we add cards like Shadow um, or Caius later, then this could mm -hmm. change. We could want these numbers to change. But as, as right now, we're right. going to start with that. Uh, but yeah, also... I think the new tell is insane. So, also, there's a couple other kind of uh, Fire Matters type cards. Um, we have Ifrit Package, which I don't think we sure. want because we were in the place of, you know, Phoenix, Belize, Bahamut. We can't have too many more summons in that. And you need to have, I'd say, at least nine Ifrits to make it really that worth it. Maybe eight. It has, <laughs> that's so funny. I, so, I read, I, I went back to the list, found, I went, I went back to the list, found one that was recent, so 416. And I was like, because I wanted to say, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have been playing the Ifrit Package lately. So, I went and found 15. one for 416. Yeah, and there was... Um, 12 Ifrits, 15 Ifrits. And this one, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and this one. And the yep. other recent list has five. So well, I'm not going to count it out. I'm not going to count it out yet. I think that that's certainly um, okay. something and to keep in mind. Then we have uh, the second copy, or the second printing of Rubicante. So the one that says if you have four fire backups, you only cost four. He's another just big body that does things when he's blocked. Or... Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to bring that up here. I'm not necessarily sure I want that card, but I'm going to bring it up so you guys can see it at least. Um... These are just the random cards I know because I play bad decks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, this, is, this certainly isn't a bad card. It's a, it's a big guy yeah. for four. Um, and he has a sweet S ability that's free other than a copy of himself. He... So and you just deal 4K to something, he gets bigger. So if he's blocked... You can deal 5k, then use a special to 9k the blocker, and if they're still alive, I mean, okay. But, like... So, another card I think, I think about considering, too, is what about Gadget? How, how the good new, is the new one? The new Gadget is the yeah. one that gives haste? Absolutely. I, I would I say know, I know it's in the least other, two. The, I know it's in the other decks, um, and I think that seems really good to me. He's a, I mean, he's a 9k, because we're assuming we're going to have a Labrou at some point. He... Yeah. Gives all of our guys haste, which if we're not playing one of the really fast decks, it'll be really nice if like Zande can drop and immediately attack kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so I think it is a very valuable card. Um, how do you feel about... Um, so this is... We're, we're going to run into soon, I think, the problem that Modifier has, which is it has so many good expensive cards uh -huh. that it's hard to really choose which ones you want. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
Pain Train. So Vermilion Bird, Lissi, Zuyu. Card's insane, but we already have three Zande, and I, I don't know that we're going to trim Zande. If we do, it's down to two minimum, Red, I think. Red has no ways to fight guys like Hecaton. You know, right, so does he lose value because of that, or is he still good as so. a one or two up to just end the game if they're on six damage kind of I thing? I think so. You know what, card? I'm thinking, so what if we, so here, here's exactly how my, my mind goes when we were things. I immediately was like, you know, I want Sage and Vaughn, I want to tap with Haste, but only mm -hmm. because I want to put an aggressive deck together that doesn't need Vermilion because it's playing the Vermilion backup. What I haven't seen that played. What if we built a deck with that? The, 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 one, the it, back of the wipes of war? It Armageddon's your board and Wrath of Gods, their forwards, yeah. So it blows yes. up all your backups, and then... Well, they're different names, so you can have both, but... <laughs> yes. Um, the only thing is, will we be willing to run the Type O Ifrit to get value out of the backup? So, let's let's look at that, actually, because there are some... There are some... Uh, this is a 4-drop, right? Yeah, so it's a four drop EX burst. It EX burst. Uh, when it enters the field, you you may search for a category typo summon. Now, there's only one typo summon in fire. Uh, there's, I think, three total right now. There's the Diablos, the Odin, and the Ifrit. Yeah. Or Ifrit. And we're is, gonna the, get... is the Odin EX yeah. burst? Uh, no, it is not. Okay. Oh my yeah. gosh, if that card was the X burst. Whew. If that Odin was the X burst, I'd consider it because we could just put those in our deck anyway to discard if we, went to, if we went and to if your we have, round. Uh, and, and if we have chaos, yeah. Right, yeah. Um, so. <sighs> and then do we want Typo forwards to synergize with that Eifert, or are we going with that purely just for value on discarding? Possibly on value on discarding, but also having an EX burst ideal 7,000 doesn't seem terrible. Um, Is it 7,000? Then 8 if you have a Typo? Yes. Uh, oh, us... that's actually not as bad as I thought. I thought it was like 5 or 6, then 8. 7 yeah. is a good threshold to hit. Well, with an EX burst, yeah. I was also thinking, like, what if we built, like, the deck to synergize a little bit with Machina? Uh, <laughs> Machina happens to be my favorite type of card. Mm -hmm. um, the card's insane. It's it's sweet. Uh, it's just you have to be able to pull it off, right? Right. So the issue with Mono Fire is, like, I'm looking at cards like Saban, Machina, like, even the VV. Like, all these cards are great when you can draw their pairs and use, use their specials. Like, right. Fire doesn't have the minor. It doesn't have the Mog Mobius. It doesn't have the ways to search for these specials. Man, their Earth just got so good. So many good cards to set. Right. It's like, kind of gross. That, that's why Fire Earth seems like it'd be really good, but I think we tried it for a while, and it just never felt right, even though it seems so sweet. Because okay. you can just minor recycle S abilities and uh, give things brave. Like, if you gave... Uh, I know this card isn't popular, but uh, the Gar... Is it... Garland? garland yeah the yeah. garland from opus three that has the s ability where you pay x and dull yeah uh and a copy of him deal six plus x to something if you could give him brave but you could attack and then use him kind of like a gilgamesh or a cloud where you'd be able to use his ability too uh which would be sweet with like momenty um yeah but that's obviously not an option here but that, that was something i was thinking about so uh, do, are we gonna want to are we gonna want to i think i think we're almost getting to that point now we have we have this we have the 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 basic cards that we were pretty sure we want in here we need to figure out if we're going to want to be aggro or controlling um and final fantasy <clears throat> typically on average there, there's not a lot of time to be a control deck like you're very aggressive right right however right now we've, we've reached a metagame <clears throat> where these earth wind earth lightning even water earth decks they're, they're able to like set up a board because they have more summons and EX bursts than they do necessary forage where they're able to just to kill everything you play constantly. Whether it's right. through Cactar, Barisha, Cactar, um, Orlando. Uh, there's a whole bunch of ways just to kill your guys. Um, and so they don't necessarily need forage and they lock up the board and then they re you out. So the question is, there's, there's two questions. One, is it worth being in an aggro deck if if we feel like our guys are just going to die right away? Do we get the value... Our, do our guys have enough value? Like Emperor Zande certainly, VB certainly. We need to make sure uh, Saban and, and Gadot do. But are our guy, are, do we get, are we getting value out of our guys? First off, mm -hmm. enough to make it that they're they're we're able to aggro them out. Secondly, or if we're going to build a more controlling deck, which I tend to like, I love the card Shadow. I think it's sweet. I would love to include Dark Sephiroth. If we're going to include cards like Dark Sephiroth and Shadow, are we going to be able to out control these Riku decks? Right. And that's a very yeah. scary question, right? Um, because our only answer to Riku and Monofire is the Dark Sephiroth. 
Yeah, because fire is very kind of fair where it plays basically with what it has in hand. Yes. There's not a whole lot of uh, value from the you know searching. There's some searching, but there's sure. not nearly as much uh, sure. in, as in the other elements. Uh, there's not you don't have a minor effect. Like sure, we have Phoenix right to bring back a forward. Yeah. But we also have to not have the forward on the field, which is we want them on the field anyway. Yep. So fire definitely lacks in the card advantage department, and I think that's it's harder to do control decks. But if you go aggro most of these control decks just have Shantoto or something and they have a lot of ways to search it or find it. Like they're going to clean you up. So right. it's hard to like, say I want to be playing an aggro deck against these, even though that should be the theoretical good matchup. Right. Right. Um, and so that's, that's where I guess we just have to like, kind of figure it out. Uh, I'll tell you like the, the, if, if the most popular deck in the room, every tournament is lightning, right? I don't want a deck that has forwards with brave. Right, so I'm not looking at Scion, right. for example, in this deck. Right, right. I think I did see Scion and the other decks that I pulled out. Let me open them real quick. Let's see, this one have Scion? No. But it does have another card I want to talk about. And this one does not either. Okay, good. All right, so these guys are also staying away from Scion. I just think mm -hmm. that it's kind of... Like, Brave is like... Brave, first off, is not a fair ability, right? But I'll <laughs> say it's not good. a fair card. And so if we can make our our, our card... Our, the cards are deck better against Alcid, even the better. So for that reason, I'm going to say that I want at least one uh, Goblin. I'm going to start with one. Okay. Uh, and Fair. possibly consider adding cards like um, like Your Anger um, to get the Goblin back. Um, and then... Now, how do you feel about Lednar? I uh, love Lednar. Yeah, uh, that's actually one of the cards I want to talk about. So... If we put if we put in Lednar in, and I do want to put in Lednar, let's just assume we're gonna put in Lednar. Lednar mm -hmm. is such a blowout card because uh, what, what you can do with Lednar is you can do things like attack with Lednar, they block, and you're like, well, you're gonna pay two, or is my guy not gonna be broken? And if they pay the two, you could just cast a you you basically just like cast a spell, kill the guy anyway. Even better on yep. defense, they attack you, you block. Well, do you want to spend two two CP on your turn? And if you do, it's like okay. Well, before damage, now that you paid the two CP, I'm gonna Phoenix kill that guy, bring back a BB, kill this guy also. Yeah. And then you just wasted your turn uh, because you just spent your two CP for nothing, or you have to overpay for something, which is exactly where Fire wants you to be anyway. Right. Fire is not overpaying for anything. I mean, Fire could say a nine K for five, which is like fine. That like <laughs> kills something when it attacks sometimes, and almost always kills something when it dies. Yep. So, yeah. So I like I like Lindar quite a bit. It just opens you up for combat uh, to use combat tricks. Um, uh, so then, in that vein, do we want the little Bahamut because that's a spot removal? It's eight K removes from game. I, I like little Bahamut quite a lot. Let's start with let's start with two. I don't want an overwhelming number of them. Yeah, we have a lot of summons already. I think I'm up to nine summons. Nine right summons, now. one monster. So, yep. Yeah. Eight I, backups, fourteen forwards. Yes, I actually like our number of summons as it is right now. Yeah, no, sounds like great. I wish I wish we had room for some Bryn Hiddles, um, but I'm I'm okay with it right now. If we look over at our our forwards and our backups, I think we're reaching like a an interesting point. Not only do we need to decide if we're going to be an aggro deck or a control deck, but like if we're going to be a aggro deck, we only have room for like maybe two or three more backups. Um, right, and they all need and that's, to be sage. And that's assuming the three ofs, right? Yeah, that needs to be sage. Um, if we're going to be more of a control deck, we're going to want I don't know, like, let's say seven more backups. Um, well, I don't think we want to have... Do we want Zondi in the deck if we are playing aggro, though? And do we want Big I Bahamut? Think, do I we think want... so. Yeah? Yeah, I think Zondi is, um, like, a great way to, like, just, like, reestablish a board pressure if they clear your board with a Shantoto. Um, also, speaking of uh, fire synergy cards, do we want the new Luneth? So the one where you can dull oh, a combination yeah. of three forwards or fire... Uh, fire forward or backup. Right? Deals 2k, but more importantly, it counters Al Cid, right? If they target your guy, you can dull them and try to and ping off Al Cid and then fizzles the ability. So let's put in one. Let's start with one. And the reason and I. And it also makes your guys bigger. Yeah, the reason I want to put in one is. So being able to insta speed in via Phoenix, a guy that pumps your guys or taps your guys to kill their guy plus stop their Al Cid, yep. does seem interesting to me. Um,. Oh yeah, so they go out to target your guys. They response Phoenix, kill something, bring back Luneth, yeah. dull three of your things that were up anyway, including the target. Ping Alcid, and now Alcid doesn't have a target. That's pretty good. Right. Yeah. 
It does seem pretty good. Um, I think I think we want to be mid range. I don't know that we want to be aggro because we do have all these very good cards. Okay. Uh, that so I'm at this sure. point, I think we're leading towards we're going to probably beat up on the more aggressive water decks. We're going to beat the mm -hmm. lightning decks. Um, we might beat the earth decks, but we we we're definitely going to lose to the Riku decks possibly. What could so? But I guess I guess we have Goblin and Belias to kind of play a little bit differently in those matchups where we can be a little bit more aggressive. Yeah, we have the options to play that way, but we're not necessarily relying on that right. aggressiveness. And you don't need big forwards to get through them. I mean, like Vivi is going to hit for the same amount of damage as Emperor Zande, right? Like, and a lot, and sometimes they hide behind, like, like they want to block with Euranger, right? So if we play a card like, uh, like oftentimes they only have a Euranger, maybe they have a Dataluma. If you play Imaginary Brawler, take away a blocker, uh, sometimes you can get your team through at that point. And that's one damage they weren't expecting to have to deal with. Um, actually, now that you say that, I want to look up Imaginary Brawler. Um, is it Imaginary Brawler? Um, Opus 3. Opus 3. I'm trying to think. Um, it's highest it cost, target? Choose one of four uh, highest yes. cost. So it does so target. It does so trigger, it does Dada trigger Dada Luma. Only once, though. It does trigger Dada Luma. And Dada Although Luma, if they have Cactor, then, you know. Yeah, that and see that's happen. that's a little bit iffy for me. Let me see. What about um what about the Tifa? Does she target also? She's one four. It cannot block. Yeah. So I'm trying to think. I do want a way to kill Dataluma without losing our board. Mm -hmm. And what is the best way to do that? Let's so see. Or, or fire doesn't have any protection backups, right? Things that say you can't be targeted or you have Lenar. Or prevent which damage. Is like, Lenar is good because like, sure. they're going to kill it. If only we could drop backups at instant speed, because then we could play Paravir and blow them out. <laughs> no, actually, that's it. That's it. We'll, we'll, let's start with that card. Um, how do you spell it? P P A R I, I think. P A R I. Yeah. Okay, you got it. Yeah. Um, because that actually just lasts until end of turn. Right. So we can actually just play that and then kill their Dataluma. True. So you could just play that, then attack with Imaginary Brawler. Can't yeah. block. Well, you could just, yeah, break. You, you could play that and then like play a VV and kill their guy. Your guy can't yep. break. Um, yeah, that's interesting. And for those of you guys you who do, don't understand, you three of them or no? I'm gonna start with two. Um, okay. So this effect lasts till end of turn. So if you don't know what that means, is like you could play like the Ford Ruban. If you've played, mm -hmm. if you've played this backup before Ruban, then Ruban will not uh, deal nine thousand to itself. Yeah, uh, because let, the let, me, way... let me take the back. Ruban will deal nine thousand to itself, but it won't be broken. <laughs> Right. So, yeah, it's like Shimhazai where it, it changes the rules for the turn. It doesn't, like, target your guys and say, these can't be. It just says, right. uh, and the and the, the difference in wording is it says this turn. So it says all right. forwards you control cannot be broken this turn. And that's just, that, like, for this turn, your things can't be broken. Whereas right. if it said the things you control cannot be broken until the end of turn, it would be applying to the ones that are on the field. All right, so now I'm going to do a search for forwards. That are the fire or dark backup, although I know there's no dark ones, so I'm just gonna do it anyway. Just you know, you sometimes you forget a card. And in this case, we have not forget anything. But the cost three. I'm gonna I'm looking for one, I think our deck's a little expensive right now. Um, Agreed. and um, two, I, I want I want Phoenix. Oh, targets. I made brave. I'm do yeah. Um I like Ranger as a possible option. Okay, so Ranger you... is my front runner probably. Uh, I do like. Ranger so we have a little bit of haste. We have a little bit of. Um, we yeah. can bring it back. Uh, a little bit of ping. So like, if you can combine the two K trigger with say like a uh, four four drop Bahamut, you can kill a ten K. Yeah. Uh, Palum maybe a one. I, you know, I, I don't mind the the Yame even if we um, are trying to avoid Brave. Like, it, do we want to just get like a Phoenix toolbox kind of like maybe one lawn for Max? Sort of. Uh, my my thought process is that like if if I have the Ayame, if I end up well, let me just say this: if I, if we end up in the dark package, then I want the Ayame to go fetch with the um. Oh, you can't do this. Because we're not on Earth. I'm so used to. I always just play Star Civil in all the decks. <laughs> I'm like, well, I right. really want this. So never mind. I guess I can't do that. Um, what about the? Is it Ride Read? R Y I D. Oh, the that guy's really cool. Doesn't activate your active phase. The problem is if without wind, we have no way to activate him, right? Uh, I mean, if we had, like, the starter VV, uh, you can do cute things with that, where you can untap by sacrificing your VV, kill a guy, untap him, attack. But, yeah, uh, that's the same it, they, they're, let's, start yeah the, no. let's start with the ranger. I would say a ranger. Um, I was going to say, if you want to do, like, a toolbox, you could have, like, one imaginary brawler, one palum, one lawn, maybe, for, like, the big earth decks or the other yeah. decks to get really huge. 
uh, Lon just kind of hits him. So, so I want to kind of put in one brawler. I do want a brawler in there, particularly because we added a ranger. Like rangers, so easily for those to just to chump block. What I'd like to be able to do is the phoenix in um, a big a big drop, uh, like a, a ranger, and kill one of their big guys, mm-hmm. and then untap and attack with my ranger, um, and not have it die. So having things like the imaginary brawler where I can just get the damage in seems sure. good. Also, like being able to like play Rick. Be able to play VV in an attacker ranger to finish off their guy seems good. Yes, that particular mm-hmm. combo is weaker to Minwoo, um, but the rest of our deck doesn't seem like it's that inter- that, that that weak to Minwoo. Yeah, we're we're making a deck that can win in combat like a fair way, but also if you yeah. don't have Minwoo, we can make your life difficult. Yeah. So I have room for one more forward right now. Um, to put up to eighteen. To no, I have nineteen forwards. I have two Lenar, one Imaginary Brawler, one Lunith, oh. three Ranger. Three. Oh, you have three. I thought you said you wanted one ranger. Sorry. I okay. want at least. Yeah, I, I'm gonna start with three ranger. I like that. Actually, you know. I have three uh, Lednar is what I had, and then one ranger. That's where I was off. I have two Gadot. Do you have two Gadot? I have three. I think I think three is the right number for Gadot. The oh, other correct. the other card that I'm 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 wondering about um is. Uh, I don't know. I'm really interested in the Rosso, but. I'm just trying to think, like, what what does he do for our deck? So Ross is a 5,000 power forward um, that just takes half the damage. I love Rosso. Uh, I don't love Rosso as much when not paired with Minmu. Like, Rosso in a water fire deck is very sweet. Yeah. I was also uh, thinking, like, I, I if, I'm, if I'm playing him, I want, like, Light Cloud. Um, him? <laughs> or Rosso, sorry. Uh, so you can deal with the 7k. Uh, and then you want, like, wait, the T. Because it's, it's a Final Fantasy 7 character. So I want oh yeah, yep. yep. Um, how yeah, so are we are we adding light or dark? We should be right. At least one we of them should be. They're the more powerful cards. So the cards that are out right now that we can't add is we can't add clouds because we don't have the seven characters. And if you want the big cloud, you have to have multiples. We can add one Sephiroth and be fine. We can add one Vaughn and be fine. We could add one Zidane, and that seems pretty good too. That's pretty sweet with Phoenix. Also with uh, VV, because it can cost less. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that, see that that was one thing about uh, when I played the end of Opus Three. I played a mono fire sort of deck that also had the Archfiends package. It was like you know Zande. It had all fire backups except for Shantoto and uh, Cosmos, and or Chaos one of the two, and one of the cards that felt very good um was uh yep blanking now we were just talking about <laughs> what card were we just talking about yeah yeah um oh god i just sorry i guess i was like i mean I'm, I'm enjoying the struggle <laughs> <laughs> what were we just talking about so we had a card that was cheaper why was it cheaper? Oh, today. Oh, god. Oh my god. Yeah, we're so we're playing Cosmos, and the deck didn't have like hard advantage because it was mainly mainly fire. Zidane gave it that little bit of card draw where you we were playing like something like four or five EVs, and you could play Zidane draw a card and like just that little bit of tempo and mm-hmm. getting a card on the field and the body felt very good. And, and that was Zidane, good. God were you playing Phoenix <laughs> before that or no? Uh, well, that Phoenix didn't exist back then, but um, oh, oh, back then. that oh, okay. deck that was deck three. was playing Phoenix though, because okay. it, it played Scarmic Leon, Phoenix, and Gilgamesh, so it had like this Gilgamesh cannon ping you yeah. down type thing, and it played uh, no, it didn't play Sephiroth, it played Zidane, but um, yeah. all played Hecaton chairs, so it, like that's how we dealt with it. All right, so let's start with let's start with one Zidane, and then build, and finish our backups real quick. Um, okay. So the backups, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and add one of the the foreman of Tella. I think that card's fine, and it also allows us to activate our other one for a little bit cheaper or a little bit more. And then we look at we have five two drop backups. I certainly want like at least the next three or four backups to be two, right? So I'm gonna go to advance. Yes. I'm gonna change this from yep. four. Changes to two drop backup and fire. Now we're not interested in Cosmos. So get I'm out gonna, of here. I'm gonna keep Chaos open. Um, not Cosmos, but oh, it, it would be, it would be because we're switched to light now, huh? So yeah, I'm gonna keep yeah. it open just in case there was a two drop backup that we forgot about, which we know that we didn't. Um, but... If we're worried about you know closing games out, do we want to add a copy or two of Ninja, the one that you break it to make something not block? 
Also uh, freeze so up yeah, if we want to play that, a pair of your late game. I haven't seen play a lot lately, but it's a new card, so maybe just people aren't trying it, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's an uh, interesting do... idea. Um because it just gives us another way to push damage through decks that are more difficult to like if if it's like mono water just like mid-range big stuff like sometimes we just have to get through uh if we have a I combination do, I, of a I red think mage that plus I do ninja, like it at least one maybe two let's it's start, also two drop back on let's start with and, two yeah i think that i like it and that puts us to 46 cards is that correct i am at 46 yes yeah and i so i think we want two more backups you um, put in three three the three drop tele and one four tele right correct Okay, yeah, that's right. So like the cards it. that I'm interested in is uh, I like Carla. Uh, I don't think Carla's terrible. I actually like it. Um, uh, Carla's sweet. Yep. Yeah, the two drop scholar's good. The um, the scholar that um, deals three damage to two things. Sage is pretty good. How good is it in our deck? Which sage? The Wait, okay. New one? You know what? Yeah, why don't we put in sage? Let's put in two copies of sage. Okay. Let's put in three copies of Sage, cut one ninja, and then add okay. a Vaughn. Oh, the hasty Sage, not the damage yeah, Sage. Yeah, sorry, I should have been more specific. So add one Vaughn. That way we're not over... That way just two light cards is fine. <clears throat> yeah, and like, I mean, we're if low... we get stuck with one hand, like, that's variance. But... Yeah. So, I, I, I like, first glance, it looks like we're kind of low on forwards at 21 i think on average you have like 25 or 24 mm -hmm. um, but we have a lot of summons that we, we have three we have, phoenix. we have three phoenixes so yeah. phoenix is a forward and it's a removal spell um so really we have like 24 forwards is how i would look at it and a lot so of them we, have haste if you and we have let's see how, how many ways do we have to capitalize off of ranger we have two bahamuts three phoenix we have another we have big bahamut that's not as Tella. relevant though we have all the Tellas. We have Emperor Zande attacks. We could party if we need to, if we need to get Did something you say out of the Vivi? way. Uh, nope, Vivi. We have... Uh, Sabin attacking and then giving Ranger un Unbreakable. Sure, yep. That. So I think we have enough ways Vaughn. to justify the Rangers. Yep, Vaughn just getting stuff out of the way. Sure. Um, Vaughn, can can Vaughn pump it? Yes, he can. So Ranger Wait, can become Vaughn? a 7k that Vaughn deals pumps? two. <laughs> I had no All idea right, choose a, choose, choose a forward, gains 2k power till turn. Oh man! That's, so uh, so we we, can, we have a seven k ranger that two k's your board. <laughs> Interesting, yeah. I, I I like our list. If we had to submit a forty nine card deck, this is the list I would submit. <laughs> um, so yeah, what is that? I don't think we want another backup. I don't think that's where we want to be. I think we want a forward or a very specific answer. Do we want a Caius? No, I think we want something smaller. <sighs> yeah, I think we that... actually don't have a lot of fours. It's kind of shocking. Yeah, we actually stopped. But, and, and the card I was thinking about was Shadow, but we don't we have don't a lot have of ways to package. capitalize on him. A Shadow I like if we were playing Dark, because then you get Cam, which justifies you to play Zodiacs, you can play Sephiroth, sure. and if, uh, you, I'd play at least two Bahamut at that point, because you can just 9k something for 2 CP. Well, 4 CP, because you're just going to Oh, we, we don't, we're not playing Furion, which is probably a mistake. It's another way mm. to capitalize off the Ranger. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's four two, so it's a six k damage swing, right? Yeah, the the Omadar is pretty good too. Omadar, I like maybe as a one of, especially with the um. Uh, we don't have control the... that we're talking about with Uranger, because he'll be a ten, a basically eleven k yeah. with first strike brave, and then if they kill one of your guys, he gets huge. Yeah, Noel's also like pretty like interesting. Yeah, because like. Although we don't have Sarah, like it's just a way to like when the game goes long. Yeah, the wall just keeps coming back. Yeah, I think I would like it better with when we have like Shantoto. We have a way to like clear the board and then bring back a guy. Um, obviously, I'm not suggesting you can use Shantoto, kill your Null, and bring it back. I'm not saying that, but I'm yeah, just saying you, I... you pitch a Null early and then you can bring it back later. Um, right. I kind of like it. Uh, we have enough ways I, to make I, it relevant. I could get behind have, Noel. Uh, I could get have, behind a Fury and um, maybe. Uh, let's see what else here. Of course, I want to play Saz, but I know this isn't the list for it. No, it's not. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm I mean, literally I, I, scrolling through. I'm between Noel, Amador, um, or the Furion. What do you think? You're not interested in one Rubicante? No. Okay. I think it's fine. 
But yeah, I, I like the Noel. Uh, All right, let's try it. That, that, it. So I would certainly try it. If, if I was playing in Toronto tomorrow, I would lean away from trying it. But if I was playing in in Toronto next weekend, I would certainly be testing the Noel t- today. Right. Because right. I think it's possibly strong. Um, also, interesting enough, the Riku decks will mill you. The million all into the yard. Thanks for the free. Which is pure value, right? <laughs> yeah, thanks for this free guy. Uh, I have no doubt that that's probably already happened to someone. Oh, yeah. How do you feel about Volker? I like Volker, not in this deck though. Because uh, I was gonna say it's another way to not block or to make things not able to block, and yeah. then I think it I also... think you want to be an Earth to play him. That's but... probably true. Yeah. So what? Anyway, so I have the name. I have it to public on a fire again. If I wanted to be private, I'd click it right there. Um, real quick, we can come down here and look. We're pretty low on our EX burst count. You can see that right here. Three. We mm-hmm. have nine specials. Um, We're those Sabin. Our cost breakdown looks Tell pretty me. good. Um, down here, you can see our element breakdown is pretty obvious. You, we could write a description about this um, podcast episode seventeen. Um, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and hit submit on this deck. Um, and by the way, if you ever want to see what I would do with my decks, like if I was concerned this for Toronto, I would just say like Toronto Nibblem, right? Or like my Boston decks were all called this. That way I know which one to consider. If it was like Octagon Open Match, it'd be something like this. Uh, that way I could just look at it real quick. So I'm going to submit this. Success, you submitted. It's going to take me to all my decks right here. Right? And so here are my cubes list. As you can tell, private, 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 private. I keep a lot of these decks on private. Um, <laughs> but the one of the things you can do is you can come up here. Let's say we just go to view it, right? We can click up here. We can favorite it. Uh, we can click here, open an editor. So you can open and change it. You can export it as text or octagon. So you can actually like, like uh, just export this straight into octagon to give it some test runs. Um, man, we should have done that. Done what? Octagon. We should just octagon this deck. See how it goes. <laughs> I see if anyone's on real quick. Just freaking do it. Let's see. So I'm gonna show you at least how to export it. So we have it right here. Um, save as. Um, so yeah, you can see I have a million decks plus these. All these are just decks, 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 decks. So this will be called the Chakabos. And then we'll. Do that. So there, I, I, I have the deck saved. I could close it if I want to open it. Let me just show you how it goes real quick. So I'm opening up Octagon. Man, just showcasing everyone's stuff today, huh? Yeah, right. Yeah, real quick. <laughs> Wait, did you submit the deck? I did. I just don't see it on the list. That's interesting. Um. What? All right, so then you were going to play spectate. Let's just see real quick. So I always go in here and look to see who's playing. I don't know. Ooh, this person locked it. Ooh, sneaky. <laughs> play. Come on. Be some games. Be some games. So there's like almost always people on, right? There's almost always people on. All right, guys. You don't get to see me play Mono Fire. So that would have been cool. I was going to play Mono Fire for you guys, but we're not going to play, I guess. Maybe we could do, like, a, you know, your little seven-minute thing. We could, like, bring it back, and you could do, like, oh, yeah. a, yeah, a yeah. quick, like, replay of you playing the deck. Yeah, if you guys want me to do that next week, I'll play Mono Fire. Um, also, if you want to have us do this more often to where we build a deck and then play it on Octagon real quick, I'd be definitely be down to that. Or if you want to, like, send me one of your decks, and then we will definitely make changes and then play it on Octagon. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Not not because I don't trust you guys' list, but Zach knows I never I he, he never makes changes to lists. He likes to test them as they are. I never test the deck as it is. Um, you know, you Very just, accurate. I just trust my own experience. That's all. Um, which is probably a, a, a bad thing. Um, but anyway, so real quick before we close this up, I do want to show like here's here's realistically this is probably how Zach builds the deck. It's pretty close to how I build the deck, except for somewhere around the middle of the deck. I would have just completely changed it. I would have just changed my mind. I would have said, okay, you know what? That's exactly what would have happened. I would want 
Um, well, you would have put Phoenix, your Ranger, so, Leia. Hey, hey, hold on. That's not right now. So here we go. I'm adding three Phoenix. <laughs> or three your three your Rangers. There we go. Now three Phoenix. I'm going to up my Goblin count to three. Kafka. You switch out Oops, for well Dark Kafka. Well, hold on. So up my Goblin count to three. <laughs> I Take know. This terrible light package. I'm gonna add um, what's the what's the Gilgamesh that the canon one is it 207? Uh, Opus three. Oh, uh, Opus three. Okay. Opus three from Final Fantasy. Sorry, 5. Josh, that I don't know that. Uh, add I that got in. You. <laughs> add one chaos. Um. Add one. What's that stupid card called? Zodiac. Oh yeah. And then the cam. All right, so then I've added a bunch of summons, so I need to take some out. Um, take out these. Take out some of these. Somehow that chaos did not, did not type it in. Chaos. Okay. Um, cam. So in this deck, I don't need the Emperor days as much. So I'm going to cut five cards. Maybe I have the Uranger, so the, the Gaddis is a little bit cooler, but maybe like pumping a two a four a two thousand to a four thousand isn't that big of a deal it does let me finish it, it does <laughs> let me finish it off with some of these cards we don't need the, the cute package noel i don't need the bahamut have so to kill a bunch of things i have a lot of backups now i actually like the sages i'll probably cut the ninja um yes yeah, so i need to cut two more cards uh, maybe the i like the lenar with the gilgamesh Maybe the Imagining Brawler, the Lumineth aren't good. Anyway, sorry, here we go. I have 50 cards. My list is two Lenar, Zach, two or three Yurangers, three Rangers. Basically, I added the Gilgamesh Cannons and Yurangers. Um, yep. That's what I would do to it, probably. Phoenix too. to get back the Yurangers, to get back the Goblins, to keep attacking with haste. I can dish the Yuranger to, to pay for the Gilgamesh. I can dish the Gilgamesh to pay for the Yuranger for some reason. If I needed to kill my opponent with a haste character that turn and I had a Goblin in the yard, that's why I would do it. And I had a Zodiac. Um, so this is so more realistically, this is like the kind of thing I would do. And then this this list would change to like, um, let's see, of, maybe have Manasvin Warmax. See of Gilgo Mesh because we are pirate cannoning. So and here we go, and this would be hit right. And then like I'd be like, okay, you know this deck's missing. I have Camelot, right? So I'd be like, so let's say I don't want to hit update because it's going to change the deck. Um, but anyway, so then I would be like this. Okay, then I'd be like, okay, oh crap, you know what's missing. It's missing Star Sybil. Uh, I should put some shit in Totos. Yeah. Sure enough, like, <laughs> eventually this deck would be a Riku deck. Um, yeah, yeah. But realistically, this is how I build a deck. It just is. I, I, I can't ever stay on like one train of thought, um, and that's why you'll see me build like these very interesting, weird decks very often. My locals probably think I'm crazy. Like I show up with like the most <laughs> random things in the whole world, um, and this is why I just. I feel like this. Would you say you do this sometimes too? Yeah, um, I'll try a new idea, and then I will see that it's like I'm like, eh, I'll I'll put a little bit of this personality into it from this other deck, and then I just end up converting and only being like five cards off of what yeah. my other list was anyway. Exactly right. But, but realistically, two hours from now, if you're still doing it, you'll end back up on the model fire list, maybe right. like one card off. Um, the problem is for I, I think for Zach and myself, I don't think neither of us typically build on FF decks exclusively. Well, maybe he does more than I do, but I, I build with my collection a lot of times. Mm -hmm. So I'll go out and pull out the cards I want. And then, so now I'm going back, putting cards away, pulling out more cards. And so like this, what we just showed you is building these two decks and what was it? Uh, 45 minutes realistically is like a seven hour process for me while I'm playing Counter-Strike or something. Like, it's just crazy. I like right. this deck though. I would definitely play this deck. Man, I wish people were on Octagon right now. Why are you guys on Octagon? <laughs> it's like perfect. Yeah, I was like, it's perfect for the UK. I'm like, no, it's not. It's five in the morning there. Man, why aren't the people in China on? It's not even good there it's right now. It's like noon. <laughs> All right, so yeah, now is a bad time to play Octagon, no matter where you live. Yeah, right. I guess California. It's nine o'clock. Where my hey? Where are my California guys at? Where's the SoCal guys at? Yeah, not not testing an Octagon apparently. Yeah, right. Not here. Yeah. Anyway, do you have anything else to add? Uh, no, I I think uh, I like what we ended up with, um, with the stipulation that we were building a mono fire deck for those who want to play it, and yeah, so maybe let, you want to have go, game against those minwood decks. So I just I end with not 
not well, you can go look at. Uh, I have. I, if you go to the submitted decks, I have uh, mine up there. It's labeled Choker Bros uh, Podcast Modifier. Oh, mine's on private for some reason. Ended up on private anyway. Uh, because I was <laughs> because I was showing it just, people. It just knows. Yeah. All right. Well, I, I do need to change that because I said I was going to keep it on. You know, they make this so easy, and yet somehow I just <laughs> I managed to like mess it up. Okay. All right. So mine's public now. Now we're gonna go look at Zach real quick. So I'm gonna go to Dex, right? Yep. Should be on the should be like the top Chocolate one. I think podcast actually. mono fire views one. Yeah, I'm gonna favorite it, man. You're gonna get my favorite right here. <laughs> awesome. All right. Now you can actually look at the price. The price of the deck is 162. The floor price is 287, slightly under you know 150 percent. That doesn't surprise me. If this was mono ice, for example, this number would be drastically different. But it is cool. Yeah, you can see real. the prices. Um, yeah. And there's a little description down here. This is the brainchild. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I think that's it for us, right? Uh, again, Absolutely. if you want to see something like this again, where we just go over deck, how we build it, just kind of rant on about our deck choices and how we mess up. And um, if you hey, want this is to, very natural. This yeah. is like this is what we do. Like <laughs> so, I tr I tricked Zach into going to Kansas through some some uh, manipulation, apparently, <laughs> not on purpose, but yeah. it worked out. Um, but if you guys want us to do this for our Kansas deck, I'd be more than down. Uh, obviously, we won't post it till after Kansas. Right, but, uh, right. Yeah, I'd be down to do this. Um, if you guys want us to do this and then play around next time on Octagon, like I'd be down to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're, we could almost, we, if you're we've down to be one of our around. opponents, I'd be down for yeah. that too. Just let me we've know. We've been thrown around the idea of coming up with some other kind of content to make. So beyond just like, you know, giving you guys news and talking about lists and doing this yeah. podcast thing. Like maybe making a video every two weeks or something. Uh, this was an idea of ours. Mm -hmm. um, maybe going through like a, a deck workshop mm -hmm. or like people have like deck text where they take a deck and they look at that deck. Yeah. We were thinking more of like development and talking about the choices. Cause it seems like we've gotten pretty good feedback on, you know, people listening to us and us talk about why we like certain cards and certain lists and like their actual function, not just like the list as a whole. Right. Like um, this is not a list of my favorite cards. Right. It's just a list of cards that I think work together. There my, my one of my all time favorite cards is Phoenix. But other than that, there, none of my favorite cards are on this list. Yeah, so uh, yeah, so that's an idea. Um, yeah. Let us know uh, if you guys would like to see more content from us, or if you think it would just be you know better off as maybe a once every now and then type thing, or when we get lists sent to us, whatever you guys think. Yeah, that sounds good. All right. Um, anyway, so that was it for episode uh, seventeen. All right, sixteen, seventeen. Yep, uh, seventeen. I'm, lose, yep. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Uh, yeah, thanks. I'm Sam Riley. And I'm Zach Brown. Yeah, we'll see you guys next time.